Okay, we are on the last couple steps of our Chaco Break uh, game tutorial. And now one of the last things we need to do is make a title page for our game. So for the title page, we're going to want to insert a new frame. So let's go back to the storyboard editor and click on the three button like we did before with the two. And a new frame is added to the end. Now we want to click on the empty zone beside the number three, hold down your mouse and drag it over the first frame. Because we want this, this is going to be our title page, so we want it to come first in our order of frames here. So drag that up to the top. Okay, now click on the one so we kind of get into our frame mode here. We're going to go down to our library and locate the object named screen title, which is this one here, and drag it and drop it into the frame. Fitting that right in there, just right. There we go. Okay. Next we're going to drop a button object in this frame. So in order for us to start the game, you'll have to click on the button. So select the option insert and go to new object and click on the interface option and under interface we're going to then choose button and say OK. Then as you can see it's again loaded into our cursor so we're going to drop that someplace on your title page there. And I'm going to minimize this library again. So drop the button object onto the frame, the properties of the new button are displayed over here in the properties toolbar. We need to change the text of the button, so click on text, the text property. Oh, I'm sorry, we need to click on the settings option and enter play in the edit. Okay, so they meant the text property under settings. So under text, we want um, where it says empty, we want to type in the word play and hit enter and you'll see that that changes the title of our button to play. So then resize the button and, posi and position it to your heart's desire. So you can click on the button and drag it out and resize it however you want and place it somewhere on your page that's easy to find and access. Now we need to define the event for this frame, so go back to the event editor. This event is simple, when the user clicks on the button we go to the next frame. So we sh you should be able to do this event yourself without explanation, so you might want to pause this video and give it a try on your own or you can watch as we complete it together. Click on New Condition and right click on the button object and let's see, right click on the button object, select Button Clicked. So when the button is clicked, that's the condition. Now for the action, we want to right click in the empty square under the storyboard control. So right click and choose Next Frame. So when someone clicks on the button, we want that to progress our game to the next frame. And now our game is finished. After you played a while, see if you can find someone else to try it. Um, and let's see what number, f so num step 14 is, says what's next. This is kind of some stuff you can do on your own. There are many ways to improve our game, add music to the title page, create new levels um, with different types of bricks, add new sound effects. So you guys can kind of experiment with this. Let's go over how we need to be saving this game. And hopefully throughout <laughs> this, these videos you have been saving. Um, so you're going to want to go to Save As and create a folder. Hopefully you have a game design folder um, already created somewhere on your um, in your files. And create a game design folder. I have an MMF2 folder. And I've you name your application Chaco Break example. This is what I named it. You can just name it Chaco Break. And go ahead and save it as a MFA file. 
Okay, and then that is the file you will submit to the Dropbox. So you'll just attach it like you would any other file. So attach it like you would um, any other file to the Dropbox and you are good to go. Congratulations on completing your first game. Feel free to kind of test the game out and make sure everything works correctly. And um, as you work through it, try and see if you can get all these chocolate bars broken up Oop, before you lose all your lives. I'm obviously not doing a very good job. And also make sure that everything goes to the correct pages um, and that it goes back to your the start of the application after 10 seconds. And then challenge someone else to play your game and see how many high scores you can get.